Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for another episode of Anime Mondays here on GameSpot Universe. Last week, Kelly got into the spirit of Valentine's Day and put together a list of must-watch romantic anime. This week, I'm going to be talking to you about one of my recent obsessions, My Hero Academia. But before I regale you about the wonders of All Might, I just want to remind you to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. We've got plenty of anime, comic, TV and movie content on the way and you don't want to miss it. Alright, let's get to it! Japan has always been a big source of inspiration for Western media. The Wachowski cited Ghost in the Shell as inspiration for The Matrix, Pacific Rim draws from kaiju and mecha genres, and Pixar's creators have repeatedly expressed their love of Studio Ghibli's work. But anime and manga also borrow from movies, TV and comics made in the Western world too. Take My Hero Academia for example, it's a series that I absolutely love, and much of that is because of parallels I've been able to draw with American comic books. One of the show's main characters, All Might, is very obviously based on DC's big blue boy scout, Superman, a character that I've kind of lost some love for recently. However, My Hero Academia's treatment of the Superman archetype has really stuck with me. It does a few things with the archetype to make it interesting again, so let's talk about them. My Hero Academia is set in a world where nearly everyone has a superpower, or quirk. It follows Izuku Midoriya, a timid fanboy that dreams of one day being a hero. But in a cruel twist of fate, Izuku doesn't manifest a power and his dreams begin to slip away. That is, until he meets All Might, the living embodiment of peace and justice. All Might is very obviously supposed to evoke Superman. He's a muscle-bound giant rocking a red, white and blue costume with a cape. He's driven by a strict moral code and is on an unwavering quest for peace and justice. His power set is also very similar to Superman and for the most part he's pretty much invulnerable. All Might is a legendary hero whose mere existence is a deterrent to villains. On paper, he sounds like quite a one-dimensional Superman stand-in, and were he the star of the show, he no doubt would be. But My Hero Academia casts him as a secondary character in Izuku's story, and explores him predominantly from the perspective of bystanders. Instead of constantly showing his heroism to build his mythos, the series uses the reverence Izuku and other characters have for him to do so. This technique of adopting an outsider's perspective to make people emotionally invest in a character is something that Batman stories frequently lean on to show the importance of a character. Similarly, My Hero Academia focuses on what All Might represents, what he means to the people, what he's fighting for and how he inspires them. As a result, in those moments when Izuku overcomes the odds by channeling the heroic ideals he's seen All Might fight for, the audience gets a deeper appreciation for the character. Seeing him from an outsider's perspective and watching others aspire to be like him gives All Might an emotional depth that just punching things could never do. One of the first things you learn in My Hero Academia is that All Might was injured in a battle against an unnamed villain, which has made him a little less almighty. This creates an interesting dynamic for the character's secret identity. Since All Might's secondary identity is the result of a sickness, he transforms from a muscular Greek god into a emaciated husk with gangly limbs and sunken eyes, which is not a good look for the symbol of peace. His injury means he's only able to maintain his powered up state for a few hours before reverting to his weaker form, so it's vital to the safety of the world that All Might keeps his depowered state a secret. If the villains of the world learned that he could no longer sustain his heroic form, they would be emboldened to commit more crimes. Worse still, if they realised he could be killed, it could potentially plunge the world into a new era of villainy. This dynamic is at the heart of My Hero Academia's story, and it's a very effective way of introducing tension to the secret identity trope. All Might has one advantage that Superman never had. He got to grow up in the world he now strives to protect. My Hero Academia makes an effort to present All Might as an ordinary citizen, as much as it does as a hero to aspire to. So we see him do mundane things like shopping for groceries, or enjoying a casual stroll through the city, as any other citizen would. The result of this is he becomes a person that stands shoulder to shoulder with everyone else, instead of a god hovering above them. My Hero Academia's masterstroke, however, is giving All Might a protege in Izuku. Through this relationship, we learn that All Might has been through the same hero's training school that Izuku is going through, and so can identify with his struggles. All Might knows what it's like to be young and want nothing more than to make a difference. He can look at Izuku, a quirkless boy desperate to find his place in a world where worth is measured by superpowers, and he can understand what he's going through. This, in turn, makes him that much more endearing. All Might helps people find the strength to overcome obstacles within themselves, instead of hoping for the hero to arrive and save the day. On top of all that, he's just incredibly charismatic and makes a point of always having a smile on his face even when battling terrifying monsters. If the world sees him smiling in his most trying moments, they can feel assured that everything will be alright. Unlike Superman, All Might has a specific objective, and that is to find someone worthy enough to inherit his power and defend the world when he's no longer there. 
Since he serves as the backbone to law and order in society, it's a mission of the utmost importance, as without him or someone of equal stature to fight for good, society would collapse. My Hero Academia does a fantastic job of setting up this apocalyptic shift in the balance of power as a looming threat. In one particular clash with villains early on in the series, veteran heroes are unable to hold their ground against a group of organised bad guys. This reveals what's really at stake for All Might, and why he continues to fight even as his condition worsens. His great power has also become his greatest vulnerability, as without him to serve as a safety net for all the other heroes, those he holds dearest could be killed, and the world could be plunged into darkness. In essence, All Might is motivated by fear of loss, and being scared of something makes him identifiable as a character. And All Might deals with more fears than most heroes. The fear of being unable to defend people, the fear of letting down the city, the fear of disappointing his students, of tarnishing his legacy, of letting hope die with him. But this fear is what makes him an interesting character. Of course, there's more to love about My Hero Academia beyond All Might, it's also got some excellent world building, and establishes a superhero universe that is inspired by American fiction, but also feels uniquely Japanese. On top of that, it absolutely nails those triumphant moments where the underdog rises to the challenge. So give it a shot! Those are some of my thoughts on My Hero Academia, but I want to know what you think. Have you seen it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Anime Mondays here on GameSpot Universe. Before I head off, just want to remind you to hit the like button if you enjoyed watching, and subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. See you in the comments!